Hello YouTube and welcome to this first of a new series of um, reviews of products for train simulators. Um, and in this case, at the moment, we are doing a review on the, um, well, Bossman Games Merchant Navy for uh, Train Simulator 2020 uh, Railworks. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So first of all, we're going to go on to drive. Oh, I tea. Mum's just brung me a cup of tea. So we're going to go on drive. We're going to go to... No, sorry, we're not going on drive. We're going to go on build, actually, because we need to place it down. So we're going to go on to um, my work in progress. Trunley Close Railway Centre route. And we're going to go on edit. And we're going to place it in and have a look. Just have a... Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, can we talk about this in a minute? Yeah. yeah. Right, so we're just uh, loading up the uh, the game here. Right, yeah. So this is a work in progress route, this one. This is the um, a Trunley Close Railway Centre route, which is uh, very much a uh, big work in progress. It's, it's set to be released soon, actually. The version 1, I'm going to release version 1 soon. It's going to be a uh, ongoing project, but we're going to get version 1 out there soon, which is the O-Gage section, which you'll see in this video as we go along. And as you can see, the typical loading speeds of TS are uh, pretty bad. Yeah, it takes forever to load this. Just hope this is actually recording it correctly. I'm using OBS, you see. Now I've turned my volume down just so you know it doesn't collide with the audio recording. So one, two, three, four. Let's go with four because we want to. We want. We want to be able to hear me speak while we're doing this. I've got my nice cup of tea. Yes, yeah, so just so you guys know, you know, my name's Samuel Beeman. We do have another person on this channel as well who owns his channel. His name's Will Braddock, and he'll probably start doing some TS reviews as well. So it's going to be a series set between the both of us. So we're going to choose our low to do reviews on. And I'm starting off the series with this Bossman Games product. Um, so, yeah, so... What what do I think of it? What have I seen of it so far? Well, I've seen, you know, bits and pieces of the trailers and bits and pieces. It does look really nice. Um, this, is, this is officially a first look. I've, I've, it's, I, this is literally fresh. I've only just bought this. So it's literally fresh from the box. So I'm literally looking at this for the first time. And so this is a completely first look to me. Obviously, apart from seeing the trailers and stuff. And I mean, the sounds sound all right. The overall look of the model looks fantastic. So i am got very good and high expectations for this. And hopefully um, it's going to be a, a good product. Um, <laughs> I hope so. Because a bullied Pacific is, is, is one of my... Well, it is my favourite steam locomotive class. Out of all of them. So, yeah... This loading speed is actually unbelievable. Uh, it's never loaded this slow before. Um, this is really odd. They really do need to sort this out, like because this this is one of the 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 issues that I have with DTG is um, the uh, especially in this old you know TS twenty twenty the the engine and and you know the, the whole construction of the game is is ancient really and they they need to update this because a lot of us and a lot of players of this game get memory dump files all sorts going on with it you know it, the dump files are just a pain in the ass and they really do need sorting out and and there's just major things and major improvements that need to really happen with this game i do mean trains in world again that's another one that isn't that perfect and this is the thing, this is this is the trouble with Dovetail Games, is that they don't perfect their stuff. And now people, you know, third-party creators, other developers such as Bossman Games, these guys here, 
and Steam Sound Supreme, for example, Armstrong Powerhouse, all of those, they perfect their products. They spend ages and ages on these products to get them perfect and, and, and released. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of them have had bugs in the past, but I mean, let's face it, we all make our mistakes. But I mean, DTG, I mean, they just, uh, the amount of mistakes they make, um, is is shocking really on um on on products uh, and and the builds of the games they need to improve okay guys so here we are after about 5 to 10 minutes of waiting for this damn thing to load i mean i don't know what's going on with this but the loading times for this game is just atrocious i mean look at this it can't even load the track in properly i mean what is going on with this the loading speeds in this game today are shocking. Okay, so we've got the AP37 down there and we've got the 27 here. So these need to be removed because we're just putting the bullied Pacific down. So, in fact, we'll just leave, you know, we'll just leave the 37 there for now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our bits and pieces and we're going to select our bullied Pacific pack. Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to this. Let's have a look. Right, okay, so... I'm going to scroll down and take a look. Okay. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Right, okay. So we've got a lot of listings here. We've got different styles of tenders. That's different. I've never known, you know what I mean, uh, bullies to have these, these tenders. Um, so we're going to go with a classic BR Late Green tender. Let's go with one of those. We're going to stick that down in there. The game volume seems a bit low, actually. We'll just raise that up a tad so we can hear a little bit more. Um, we're going to go with a BR Green Clean Merchant Navy. Come on, come on. Let's have a look at you. Ooh. This is looking interesting, isn't it? It's taken a while to load. What is with the loading speeds in this game tonight? Like, seriously. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's going on these Mark II coaches. Sorry, guys. Sorry for purists. It's a preserved railway. It's a preserved line. So, you know, it's... it's, it's so, Okay, so we've got this Lamport line up. Uh, it's, it's, we're just using it as a, as a look at. So let's just have a look. See what, we, see what we've got here. So I've got my automatic fireman turned on. I don't know whether, what, what this is going to be like on this particular loco. Whether... It's compatible with automatic fireman or not, but we'll soon find out. Got my nice cup of tea here. Mmm. I see again, um, compared, if, if I'm going to have a comparison between this and trains and train sim world, the loading speeds are atrocious. Anyway, oh Christ, look at this. Oh, yes. Look at that front end. Oh, this is looking fab already. Um, so, first of all, let's, 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 let, <laughs> let's expose ourselves and look at the, outs, the exterior of the model. So, we're going to start from the front. I mean, just look at that. We've got a nice, we've got the nice... Um, Obviously, we've got the nice lights, up the light at the top there. We've got the lovely 35026 numbering on there, which is nicely, crisply applied on there. We've, um, obviously, we've got the, um, the bolts for the number plate. We've got the, um, the smoke box dart all there, all nice and 3D. We've got the shed plate. Um, uh, yeah, we've got... Wow. I'm I'm really impressed with this. We've got the um pull the piping, the appropriate pipe work and electronics to go to the um and cabling to go to the lights. Um we've got these oh, this this lovely like steam just bursting out of all the appropriate areas like the cylinders underneath, uh, you know, what I mean the cylinder cocks, everything like that. We've got the nice vacuum hose there which is looking nice and detailed. Nice buffer beam. 
this is a clean version, so there's no weathering on it. You know, it's as you know, as as I selected it. Now the question is, does this smoke box have an interior? No, it doesn't. So obviously, the smoke box door doesn't open. Um, I mean, this piping. It's, I'm liking the look of this sort of brass texturing on the pipe work there. It looks really nice. Um, wheel sets. I mean, you, you, they have captured that iconic bullied Pacific wheel, like they're just that, 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 that just that um, very American style look of the wheel. It's just, uh, there's just something about it, isn't there? We also have all of the uh, linkage. We have the appropriate rodding. We, you know, we have the the walls, the walls church valve gear. I think it is. Yeah, that's what it's called. Walls church valve gear. That's all there, looking present and smart. Um, yeah, we've got the speedometer on the other side, which can be seen. It's not readable, but it's, you know it's it's there. We've got a nice nameplate. It's 3D nameplates as well on the side there, which look really nice. Although it doesn't look like yeah, the lettering isn't 3D, but I mean I'm not really too fussed about that. We have obviously all um, the uh, the sanding ports. Uh, sanding ports. The sanding areas, oh God, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not majorly, um, sorry, we've got sandboxer there, sorry. So I'm not majorly knowledgeable about steam locomotives and how they work. I just, you know, like them. Um, I still need to, you know, sort out on, on how they work. I mean, I'm going to volunteer at Preserve Railway. I'm going to learn all this stuff um, on steam locos. Uh, yeah, we've got all the piping underneath the cab area. Got a nice um, printed uh, lettering there on the side there, which looks really nice. Got the nice springs there. The texturing's really nice on this logo, actually. I quite like it. The tender, all looking nice. Got all the, the riveting um, and bits and pieces. So got the nice ladder on there. Got more of the lamps on the back. The British Rail emblem, nicely crisply on the side there of the um, of the tender. The uh, classification 8P uh, 35026 with the Southern Region Triangle underneath there, which is really nice. We've got the you know the classic QG man in there just doing his bit. Um, oh, with uh, yeah, we've got um, the window frame there, which looks really nice actually. I like how there's you know a nice metallic look okay so let's move on inside the cab now and oh my okay I'm gobsmacked already <laughs> well, look at this folks oh we've got all cab doors we've got cab doors they open and close yes we like features like this now but the question is are they open on the outside Oh yes, they are indeed. They open up on the outside as well. So if you open and close them, they open up. What else have we got? We've got anything more? Any features? Obviously we've got opening and closing windows as standard. Oh, I like how they work. Oh, I'm liking the animation on that. It's really nice, isn't it? That's really good. Do the windows open? Oh, I don't think windows open on a bully. No, they don't. Of course they don't. Idiot. I should know this. Um. The roof vents open up, fantastic. Oh, we like all this kind of stuff, this like jiggery pokery kind of bits and pieces, the extra bits. Look at this, I mean, the British Rail Southern Region special notice, it's all readable. You know, we've got all the like safety um, bits and pieces, it tells you how it's all hot inside and actions, keep regulator cracked, use brake to stop train, examine inside big end. I mean, just details like this is really nice. We've got reverser light. The reverser light, does that light up the... Okay, I don't know. I don't know. We've got um, gauge lights. Oh, floodlights on and off. That's like a cab light, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. So can we see the gauge lights now? We can. Fantastic. Reverse a light. 
Okay, I don't know what that is all about. Okay, so we've got. Let's put our lights on inside the cab now. Okay, so automatic fireman, obviously, it's something. Oh, we've got a cab view, so let's go cycle through them. The fire looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, we've got this back back view. I mean, just look at this this texturing in here. The detail on the, on, on the interior is really nice. I mean, I'm loving the worn look inside. It's just like what a steam loco cab should look like. So we've got the um, side of the gauges there. We've got the um, right side window. We've got the head leaning out view. We've got another leaning out view on the other side. Back to the uh, window and gauges yeah etc so we've got all our basic and nice views there so, so does this okay yeah, we've got the um, handbrake do any of these open or oh, something went now what was that does, it, does any of this open oh it's my bad it's the handbrake <laughs> The handbrake was making the noise. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing this will probably have advanced features. So, yeah, got the reversal lock there. We have to press E for that. And then we have to obviously put our reverser into forward gear and lock the reverser again. We've got cylinder cocks are open, which is all good. Um, we can close the firebox door now. We don't really need that. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's interesting. I like that. The generator. We can turn the generator on and off. We can shut our... Oh, I hold the... That's a bit weird. I don't... Yeah, it's a bit weird how that's animated like that. Okay. Anyway. Um, got sander. It works. That was in the up position before. That's our... Brake isolation valve, steam heat, injector, you know, the injectors for the water, stuff like that. We've got our whistle. Oh, here we go. Let's listen to this. Oh, yes! Proper. So, right, okay, so we've got that. Is that the space bar whistle then? Okay, that is a space bar whistle, but I can hear a slight looping in that whistle there. So there is a slight... It's not bad, but can you notice that sort of... No, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not, it's not the worst I've heard at all. I quite like it. It's good. Um, let's listen to some on the outside. Do we have any B key whistles? We do. Okay. Is that just the only B key? Okay, do we have any shift space whistles? No. Control space? Okay. Oh no, we've got some more B key ones, okay. Okay, so we've got multiple B key whistles. I'm going to cycle through them all. Um, now, what I did notice on this model is, is I think the whistle valve moves. Should we check that? Oh, it does. Look at that. Oh, that's spectacular. I'm liking that. Okay, so basically, with the reverser moved, because we, obviously we moved the reverser earlier, does anything move when we move the reverser backwards? That's what I want to know. So where's the reverser valve on this thing? Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's release the brakes and see our brakes come off. I'm pretty sure these move. They do. We've got animated brakes, ladies and gents. Animated brake cylinders. Fantastic, that's what we want. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Right, okay, so we can start to move off now and listen to what she sounds like. And how she drives, obviously. Shut up. Cylinder the cops there. I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm loving this sound right now. These sounds are fantastic already. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I love these locos. We've got everything. We've got. Uh, now what else do we have? Um, that's fitterable. Oh, we've got the blower. Um, the seats go up and down. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think we can speed up now. Uh, automatic fireman does work on this. Brilliant. Oh, look at them steam effects. That's lovely. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah, so obviously this is a work in progress route. Um, I plan to release version 1 soon. Um, when that will be, I don't know yet. But this is based on my layouts, Trundley Close Railway Centre. This drive's interesting, I love the advanced features on this. Nice drive. Right, okay, so we are releasing our brakes. Oh yes, this is driving really nice. Let's have a look at it coming into the station. Nice 33 there, nice Southern Railway sort of scene here. Oh, fantastic. Oh, cool. can we change our discs? I'll have a look at that in a minute. Oh, the brakes work really good on this, don't they? Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we stopped then. <laughs> well, I sat then. Okay, so let's have a look at our discs. Do they actually work? Control one. Oh, they do. Two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Five, six. Uh, six got a stopping passenger. Oh, what's that? Okay, I'm not quite sure what that is. Does that go up like... Okay, that's a bit of a uh, bugbearer there, but hey-ho, it is what it is. Um, so, seven, eight, nine, and all that lot from the back, or... Or not? What does seven do? Does seven do anything? No. I know we've got headboards somewhere. I don't know where that is. Um, is it P? Control P? No. Mm, I need to have a look at the manual really for this. That's the thing. But yeah, we're looking pretty smart, aren't we? Do the cab controls, are they viewable from the outside? Do they move when you move from the outside? Let's have a look. So if I put the regulator up. Okay, maybe not. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? So, I don't think the cab controls move from the outside as such. 
It does the break though, that's the question. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so the cab controls don't move from the outside. That's, that's a bit different. Usually this kind of stuff is, is quite um, regular on these new DLC for train sim. Dampers are all uh, functional. Left injectors. Well, I like how the fireman's left the door slightly open in the firebox there. I'm loving the realistic sound set from inside the cab. It all sounds very realistic. I like all this. It's sort of, you know, thundering racketing sort of sound like you would get in a normal Steam Loco cab. Which is really good. Got AWS up here. That should work, obviously, it's an AWS route, which at the moment this isn't. I might put some AWS ramps down later on to the route. Um, I mean, it's about time we had a new model of Bully Pacific in this game, like, um, I mean, it's just fabulous, really. Let's have a look at it passing by. I mean, let's have a look, see it come past. So this is using the AP Weather Enhancement Pack, by the way. I just thought I'll uh, add that to, to the mix. So this is using the AP Weathering, yeah, well, Weather Enhancement. Oh, yes, look at this. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you can't beat that sound, can you, really? Of a bullet. A bullet. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stop in this next station and then we'll uh, sort of finalise our review and then I'll just, just talk about what I think of it. See, I like how you can use the controls from using this for you, that's really nice as well. Look how responsive these brakes are! Christ! Yeah, these are these are pretty responsive brakes. I need to get the hang of driving this, really. It's uh, quite an advanced piece of kit. I love the sound set, the sound set is excellent, but this is, you know, fantastic, this is really good. I must admit, um, since Boss Man Games released the Black Five, now, um, I think we will, we will do a review on the Black Five at some point, but there, there, there's a few things which I will point out that I don't necessarily like about the Black Five. Uh, it was a fantastic opening for Boss Man Games, a fantastic, like, what is it, first release and debut for the company, really. Um, well, obviously, apart from the S15s and uh, A2s that they released on the marketplace. Um, but it was a fantastic entry for them, and I think they did a cracking job on it. It was really such a lovely model. The features are fantastic, the way you can open the smoke box door, you know, open all the sanding um, boxes and fill up all the sand boxes and stuff like that, all of those advanced features. It's a shame you can't really do it on here. I mean, I don't know if you can do it on here or not, but I'll have to read that deeper into the manual. Um, but and there was a few little bits and pieces that I can nitpick about the Black Five, and I will say, I will say that, and I will talk about that when we come to reviewing the Black Five. Um, so yeah, this, well, what can I say about um, the Merchant Navy? Well, uh, they have certainly captured the whole overall look of the locomotive perfectly. Um, it's definitely an upgrade compared to the Digital Traction model and Just Trains release, which we will do a review on those ones as well, and obviously the SSS bullies. 
you know, after doing this later on in the series of reviews. So it's going to be a series of reviews between me, Samuel Beerman, and Will Braddock. And we're going to be uh, doing separate reviews on different products and, you know, just just uh, give our opinions of what we think of these DLCs for these certain games like uh, Train Simulator, Railworks, um, Train Sim World, etc. Even trains, you know. So, um, yeah, welcome to this new series. Um, I hope that, you know, I mean, this is the first video, you know. I mean, I don't know, you know, how what you guys are going to think of it. You know, I mean, it's it's a basic review, really, of this new release of the uh, Merchant Navy. But, um, you know, I mean, I think I've covered everything that I want to cover on it. I think the look of the engine is spectacular. I think the sounds are good, apart from the fact that, well, we've got the space bar looping, which is a little bit yeah, here and there, but it's still good. Uh, it's still great. I love all the steam effects coming out of the fronts. Uh, we've got to open our cylinder cocks actually. Um, oh yeah, I've opened our cylinder cocks. Um, and I love all the animations of underneath on the rodding and stuff. You know, the brakes, how they release, um, and stuff like that. The cab is 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 second to none. Looks great. You know, I'm loving all the bits and pieces underneath all this pipe work. I think all the pipe work has nice texturing on it. And yeah, and I think. Overall, as you can see, we've got our open vent there. But overall, it's it's a great piece of kit, and I'm happy with it. Definitely, um, is it now? The question is, is it worth the twenty pounds? Um, I mean, you get lots with it. You get the merchant navies. You get them in in certain different liveries, certain different variants, and stuff like that. Worth 20, I mean, it is pushing the boundaries a tad, but I think it's a lovely piece of kit, so I'm going to say, you know, it's fair enough. But I would have said 15 quid, like, you know, 14.99 is probably a more fair reply, some fairer deal for this. But I can't complain because it is a really nice piece of kit, and I think they've done a cracking job and took a lot of time and effort into perfecting this. And uh, yeah, Boss Man Games deserve a pat on the back again for releasing a lovely uh, piece of kit again. And yeah, so thank you for watching this uh, first review on a train simulator product. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've certainly enjoyed reviewing it. And uh, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Oh, and check out UK Train Sounds, which is a website we've recently created for um, sound packs for the trains franchise that's the trains with Z um, and we do sound packs for that and it's worth a look into I'll link that in the description I'll also link our Facebook page in the description of the video as well and obviously we'll try and release some more railworks and train simulator content to you soon such as routes reskins and stuff like that okay guys so thank you for watching this uh, review hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah speak to you guys soon goodbye for now